blockchain was one of the greatest technology revolutions in the last few years. It led to the creation of different cryptocurrencies and the software platforms like Bitcoin or Ethereum and they have changed the way we used to see the financial and the software development sector. However, there is a new technology which is coming up called the hash graph. Let's see in this particular video what is hash graph and how it is different from blockchain and is it truly a blockchain killer. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. The agenda for this particular session is what is hash graph, how does hash graph work and is it really worth moving to hash graph from the blockchain and how does it differ from blockchain and is it really a blockchain killer. So before understanding what is hash graph, we need to understand what Swirls do. Swirls is a software platform which is created for fully distributed applications that can harness the power of the clouds without the servers. We can develop applications with fairness in the decision, speed, trust and reliability, all at the fraction of the cost of the traditional server-based platform. What do we need to know about this particular company is? They are the ones who have created Hashgraph. What is Hashgraph? Hashgraph is nothing but a consensus algorithm which is used by that company which is called Swirls. These are already being called as the blockchain on steroids. Hashgraphs are already called as blockchain on steroids. There are few properties uh, which are, are truly unique to the Hashgraph. Example speed. It can compute more than 250,000 transactions per second. However, if you notice blockchains, they can't compute this many number of transactions. They can do only 7 transactions per second. There is the next property called the fairness. It uses the consensus timestamping which makes the system fair. And finally, security. It is asynchronous and it is based on the Byzantine fault tolerance system which is similar to how blockchain works blockchain also uses the same fault tolerance system what does it mean is it can still work even if one of the node is not participating inside the functionality so how does this hashgraph work hashgraph uses two special features for achieving all these three properties the first one is the gossip about gossip and the next one is the virtual voting let's see in depth of what are these Gossip about gossip or the gossip protocol is a very well known concept in the networking industry. Imagine how do we spread gossips in real life. Let's say we have four different people Peter, Sam, Ryan and Adam. What do we generally do? We just gossip among each other, right? Let's say Peter gossips to Sam about something and Sam gossips the same thing to Ryan and the chain goes on. Imagine these are different nodes in a hash graph. Every node in a hash graph can spread signed information or events on the newly created transactions and the transactions received from the others to its randomly chosen neighbors. These neighbors, they collect the information from the others and then they try to distribute it to random nodes. This goes on until all the nodes are aware of that particular information. So that is how gossip about gossip works. Let's see the working of gossip about gossip with a small diagram. Let's imagine these are the different nodes inside a hash graph. Let's imagine Sam is sending an information to Adam. So Sam is gossiping something to Adam. Now Adam creates an event which is nothing but the blue ball and says Sam that I have created an event and I acknowledge your information. Now there are three events. One was created by Sam which is the red one. Same way Adam also has a red one. These are the initial events or the first events created by the nodes. And then the new event is created as a result of Sam gossiping with Adam. Now what is inside that particular blue ball? 
this is something similar to how we have in blockchain however it is slightly different so there is a timestamp of that particular gossip along with the timestamp there is the transaction information which is being gossiped so the information which is being gossiped is inside and also there is a timestamp additionally there is the hash of what is the first event the first event is nothing but what is here the hash of this particular event is present in that as well and finally the hash of adam is present as well so these two are nothing but the hashes of the first event of sam and adam so this is how the final um, gossip is created this is called an event so when sam gossips to adam an event is created by adam with all these informations and the same information is now passed on to different neighbors let's see in real time how does it work if there are more nodes right so this is how it can look like when we start creating new gossips and the information passes from each node to other so this is how gossips can spread across the neighbors and spread across the network so this is just a small example of how a gossip works the information is passed in a similar fashion across the nodes this is the first feature of the hash cap let's see what is virtual voting now that we have passed on information using the gossip about gossip now how do we vote and identify which information is valid so virtual voting comes in handy in that place every node determines whether the transaction is valid or not by doing virtual voting if a transaction has two third of the node in the network as witness saying these are valid then transaction is considered to be valid this is similar to blockchain however there is a small change compared to blockchain the voting happens over lots of rounds so example this particular chain can be split into three different rounds round 1 which consists of some particular transaction round 2 which has another set of transactions same way round 3 which has another set of transactions whenever a gossip is made the transaction knows that which particular round it belongs to by dividing this up into rounds we can make the calculations faster that is why hash graph is faster compared to blockchains there are lots of algorithms uh, which you can see in depth to know the voting process i am not going to cover the in depth algorithm of how the voting process works but understand that there is virtual voting and the transactions are validated based on two thirds of witness which say that these transactions are valid let's compare that with a blockchain and we can identify and let's see is it really a blockchain killer the two biggest problems that blockchains are facing is the speed of the transaction and the fairness of the transaction the speed of the transaction is are pretty low in the blockchain the bitcoins have a transaction speed of 7 transactions per second ethereum usually has 15 per second however hash graphs can process 250k transactions or more per second which is a major advantage for the hash graphs blockchain is public and it is not permission based so there are unknown networks which can come and create their networks in the blockchain however hash graphs are currently operated on a private based network and it is permission based so you know that how many nodes are participating beforehand this is why it is unfair to compare a blockchain with the hash graph because blockchain is public and hash graph is private once it moves to the public world we will be able to identify how hash graphs solves the problem of privacy there is no fairness in the transaction validation in the blockchain because blockchain miners themselves manually put these transactions into the blocks and then they will always choose the transaction which favors them financially each transaction has a certain amount of transaction fee which are attached to these Many times, most users will have to pay extra transaction fee in order to get a special preference for a particular transaction for a cut in line. So, in a blockchain, you can skip the speed based on the 
financial gain however in the hash graph you cannot do that because it is all timestamp based and it helps in fairness validation based on the sequence or based on the voting mechanism or based on the validation which happened first it is simple first come first service and keeps the network as fair as possible compared to the blockchain where it can skip your chains when you have a special preference the final conclusion which we would say is it is too early to say that blockchain is going to be killed by hashgraph because hashgraph doesn't align with the blockchain stack because it is still private and it is not public yet it is not even open sourced so we cannot directly say that blockchain can be killed by hashgraph but hashgraph's concepts are very good and the speed and the security and the fairness which has been involved in the hashgraph is pretty impressive so what did we see in this particular video we saw what is hashgraph how does it work how does the gossip about gossip works and how is it calculating the validation using the virtual voting and finally we compared the hash graph with the blockchain hope you guys found this particular video interesting if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it if you want me to make video on any specific topic do let me know in the comment section below meet you again in the next video thank you very much